We're all on our phones all day, but for some reason, we like to log on to Instagram from our computer. I'm Subi Zimmerman, and today I will be reviewing some of the best tools for logging on to Instagram from the desktop. If you're anything like me, you love using Instagram and engaging right from the app. But most business owners like to sit or stand at their desk and work, mostly to see a larger screen. And let's face it, sometimes it's challenging to do all the engagement from your phone. The good news is that there are some awesome features that Instagram has on the desktop. And today I'm going to show you how to navigate the homepage here on Instagram.com. I'm going to show you how to edit your profile right here. I'm going to show you where you can find additional resources. And then finally, I'm going to show you how you can use your Facebook business page to reply to comments. Okay, so when you click into the Instagram icon or the word Instagram, it brings you to your feed. And this is where you can scroll through all the accounts you have chosen to follow and you can go in and engage and comment right here on the post. You can also use the search tool to search for people. I'm going to look for Seth Godin. There he is. Or you can search locations. I'm going to search Boston, Massachusetts. Or you can search for a hashtag. I'm going to search the Instagram expert. And when you click in to a hashtag, I like to call it a hashtag hub. It takes you to all the posts that have been used. There's over 1,100 posts using the hashtag, the Instagram expert. So you can do some hashtag research right here. The icon to the right of the search bar is what I like to call the compass. So when you click into this, it allows you to discover new things. So Instagram is showing you, based on your engagement, people that you might want to discover. And you can scroll through this. And if you want to give anyone a follow right here on the desktop, you can just click this blue follow button and it will turn green. Also, Instagram is showing you some Instagram stories that you might be interested in discovering as well. To the right of the compass is the notification tab. When you see a little red dot, it means you have a new notification. So clicking in to the notification tab, this is where you see people who start following you, people who like your photo or like your video, people who at mention you or leave a comment on your post. If you want to click in to this, it will take you directly to that post where you can respond to the comment. And it's really easy and a great way to engage right here in the notification. So I'm going to go to this post. It looks like I'm getting a lot of engagement on my latest post. And I'm going to scroll to the bottom. So if I want to leave a comment, let's see, to Bold Brand Fast, who is loving Planoly, I can say Bold Brand Fast. Whoops, Bold Brand Fast. So glad you are enjoying at Planoly. And then I'm going to tap on Control Command Spacebar and put an emoji because I like to put an emoji when I leave a comment. And it's that easy. You can engage right here on the desktop and Instagram. Okay, so to the right of the notification tab is a profile icon. And when you click that, it takes you back to your personal profile. If you want to edit your profile, and I love going on the desktop to edit, so I click in here to edit. This is where I add new links to websites, and we always have a custom bit.ly link so that we can track how many people click that link from Instagram. Also, I like to go here whenever I'm changing up my bio. On the bottom right, you can just pull that tab so you can see your whole bio and get in here and change it. So if I wanted to change business to biz, I can just do that. And you just want to make sure that you submit any changes. And then it says profile saved. To the right of that is where you can change your password. This allows you to go in easily and you want to make sure that you have a two-step verification process. This is where you get a text sent to your phone whenever anyone logs into your account. Below that 
is where you can authorize different applications. So you want to go in here and make sure that you delete any of the applications that you actually authorized and you forget that you did <laughs> because you want to clear these out every now and again. It really is a good way to keep your account protected. Some of these apps are no longer compliant with Instagram's API. All the ones that I see here are good. But if you wanted to revoke access, you just tap on the blue bu button and you can press yes, but I'm not going to do that. Now, this is something a lot of people don't know. So I really want you guys to see this. Comments. So if you're someone who is getting a lot of bots or spammy comments, you can write certain words right here. Check out my bio, follow for follow, follow me, nice pick. These are all bot comments I can't stand getting and I don't get them anymore because I put them here in my custom keywords. You might not want to see any swear words and maybe you put those here. So put all of those words that you don't want to see right here. Below that is the email and SMS. This lets you pick what notifications that you'll receive. And as you can see, I have them all checked off. Now, when you go to the very bottom of the page, this is where you can find additional resources. I love Instagram's blog and you will too. Go in and click in and check it out. So many great articles being published here and it's a great resource for you. And if you need to get help from Instagram, there is a support team here as well that you can access. Now I'm going to show you how to engage on Instagram from Facebook. Come over to your business page and hit the inbox. And this is where you see all of your notifications from Facebook. And if your Instagram account is connected, you will also see your Instagram notifications. If not, head on over to the right where it says settings and just tap on that. And on the left hand side, you can tap on Instagram and log into Instagram. Once you're logged in, you wanna go back and hit that inbox and this is where you'll see the Instagram icon and you'll see how many notifications you have. So see how I have five posts need my attention. So I am gonna tap on Instagram and each one of these is a post. So you see the time that there was a comment and I wanna show you underneath the date, you can see a number. So see where it says Saturday and under that is two. That means that there's two new comments since I last engaged and commented on this post. So now I'm on this post. Um, you're finally here, thanks for the tip. I'm gonna say, you're welcome. So I'm gonna hit reply and say, you're welcome. And I'm gonna give him a smiley face, command control, shift bar, got my emojis, and I'm gonna give a smiley face and press return. Now, if there was a comment here that you did not like, you can tap on the trash and throw it in the trash. Isn't this awesome, you guys? So if you're on your desktop, or you like being on your desktop more than your mobile, or if you have Facebook opened all the time, this interface is beautiful. I wanna point out at the top here, these three icons that you wanna pay attention to. So the first one is a, full, a little envelope where you can mark the post as unread if you want to. The second one is, say you can't get to all the comments on your post and you wanna follow up, just tap on this and you can follow up later. And then when you're done commenting, answering those questions and engaging in those comments, you just press done. I love being on Facebook <laughs> And I love interacting right here on the desktop through this interface. It's new, it's exciting. Let me know if you are really digging this as much as I am. Did you like this video? Let me know by leaving a comment right here below this video. I love to read your comments. And be sure to grab my free Instagram strategy guide. That link is waiting for you. This is my number one resource for helping you get started so that you get real results on Instagram. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you on the next video.